Welcome guys to another video. I will discuss 10 more games that you can try out right now with the power of your PC for even more graphical fidelity. Stay tuned because, oh my gosh, some of these games are just amazing. You're, you're going to love this. All right, the first game that I want to discuss with you is No Man's Sky. And No Man's Sky is for all of my space lovers, everything that is space related, exploration, a building, economy, socializing, multiplayer, with space, you're going to love No Man's Sky. I mean, the first thing that you'll notice is just how procedurally generated this game is. Just from its planets, to the objects, to its animals, to almost anything that you encounter. Even the atmosphere of the planets is based on how far it is from its star. And to blow your mind even more, there are about hmm, 18 quintillion planets that you can explore in this universe. 18 quintillion, it's 18 zeros. That's how many planets that you can explore. And the planets are pretty much, well, real size. You have, you got small ones, but you also have very big ones. You can have your own spacecraft or your starship in this case. You can upgrade it, acquire other starships, control the starship with your VR controller, the joystick that you see in your starship and the throttle. When you move your controller, you can control the starship. Oh, of course, we got combat. So you also have space enemies. You can have space wars. So your ship is also equipped with rockets and lasers and other kinds of weapons. And of course, like I said, it has multiplayer and it is also crossplay. All in all, No Man's Sky is really a underrated masterpiece. Try this game out, you're going to love it. I'm very certain of that. And what aspect did you actually love the most about No Man's Sky when trying it out? Let, let me know. Okay, coming up. This is a game that is for all my racing lovers that want to take their racing experience to a whole nother level because we can play Assetto Corsa in virtual reality. So Assetto Corsa is a lifelike racing simulator. It has quite a realistic physics engine. So you can think of features like tire flat spots, heat cycles, and also advanced aerodynamics. Also another fun fact is it was developed at Vallelunga Racing Circuit with input from real world drivers. In general, features legendary tracks, including laser scanned replicas for just unparalleled accuracy. Also, you have the availability of a whole list of cars and manufacturers. If you're one of those mod freaks like myself, you have a whole bunch of mods that you can download from the internet for even better graphics, visual fidelity, or maybe even physics, whatever you want. The modding community is pretty extensive. So what are you waiting for? Hop into a car and bring this whole racing experience to another level. Okay, now it's time for all my flying hobbyists to immerse yourself in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but it's, oh man, I, I'm, I'm a really big flight simulator fan and fanatic actually. I simulated when I was flying in the night, sometimes did like three, four, five hour long flights, hearing the engine sounds and the airplane just, it gave me a feeling of relaxation that's just un unexplainable. Now being able to do that in virtual reality where you just can immerse yourself with all the knobs, the gauges, the cockpit itself, and seeing the amazing scenery outside, man, that is just a sight to behold. It's really amazing. So basically in VR mode, you can, can lean into panels for better visibility. You can look out the windows to check the traffic. Also switching between the games 2D and the VR mode is very simple. You can use keyboard shortcuts, for example. But I must mention that in order to run this game, you do need a PC that can handle the graphics because a lot of people even though they have some powerful PCs, have to quite drastically lower their graphics in order to run the game. So I'm just warning you about that. Overall, Microsoft Flight Simulator, if you love flying, if you love airplanes, if you love being a pilot, now you kind of have that feeling, well, of being a pilot. Okay, so in my last video, I also discussed a Star Wars game and it is something kind of like a hybrid between the last game I just discussed and, well, full-fledged Star Wars battle. So in, uh, in Star Wars Squadrons, you can pretty much feel like a skilled pilot, navigating through space, fighting with other people, engaging in dogfights, stunning environments, graphically quite nice. The game kind of 
provides a balance between arcade and simulation style controls, which of course offers engaging combat in space that can appeal to more casual players or players that are seeking more depth in their gameplay experience. The 5 vs 5 multiplayer mode in Star Wars Squadrons is described as intense and challenging, with of course human opponents providing a more dynamic and competitive experience compared to your AI counterparts. If you really want to fully enjoy Star Wars Squadrons, I urge you to also invest in a throttle or a joystick. It will also help with the gameplay, of course. So all in all, if you're one of those Star Wars guys, fanatics that just love the dogfights and you always wanted to do epic space battles, well, now's your chance. You got your VR headset in space, go kick some ass. So another game is Lone Echo, which is a game that has received a lot of positive feedback from VR fanatics for just its visual stunning graphics, innovative locomotion, and just its general immersive gameplay yet again. It also has a very well acted story, interesting environments, and of course the relationship between the main characters, which is Captain Olivia Rhodes and the robot Jack. The narrative unfolds at a pace that allows players to appreciate the virtual weightlessness and of course engage with the story before you dive into more action. Lone Echo in general is lauded for its zero G experience with its zero G movement system that can provide a very unique feeling and experience. Players can, for example, interact with virtual objects around them. You can push them, seeing it float away in space. You will solve puzzles by navigating hazards in a weightless environment. The graphics and the attention to detail is pretty much described as top notch. So yet another game to totally immerse yourself in the whole weightless aspect of space. Now you've got a story to wrap yourself in. So go ahead and enjoy. So if you love survival games, then Into the Radius is a game that you should definitely try out. I mean, this game is just praised for its pretty tense gameplay and it also has some horror elements to it. It's a little bit eerie. So you basically navigate a post-apocalyptic Russian environment and this environment is filled with dangers, baddies, and just evil that wants to get you. The game also has an emphasis on precision and on scarcity, which of course adds to the challenging aspect of the game. The game tries to create a realistic atmosphere with the use of the music, the sound effects, and just the general unease of dread and what could happen. A world where you have to scavenge for supplies and you have to trade artifacts. The game doesn't really have a plot, but it focuses more on the exploration, the combat, and the resource hunting aspect of things. If you love challenge, if you love intensity, if you love an eerie atmosphere, if you love survival, then definitely go ahead and try out Into the Rage. Okay, so if you're more into a relaxing experience, if you love kayaking, if you love beautiful environments, then this game is definitely for you. I mean, Kayak VR has garnered a lot of attention because of its just absolutely stunning graphics. It also incorporates quite realistic physics by how you handle the kayak. It just features such stunning environments. And if you just want to relax in a kayak somewhere else in the world, here you go. This is exactly the experience that you want and what you need. So with the kayak, when you're pedaling, you can see the interaction, how the water reacts to your pedals. You have locations like Costa Rica, Norway, Australia, and also Antarctica. And as a fun bonus, you can also interact with the wildlife that is present in each location. And of course, with realistic graphics comes also realistic sound design which is also present in the game of Kayak VR. And just to visualize, each controller simulates a pedal and that is how you control the kayak. And it also leverages haptic feedback to add to the realism. So what are you waiting for? You had a busy day at work? Go relax a little bit with Kayak VR. Okay, next game is Pavlov VR that is catered to everyone that just loves to blow up, shoot, kill, and which is also wrapped in quite stunning and beautiful graphics. I mean, if there is one thing that Pavlov stands out in, 
is the exceptional gun handling and the realism that is attached to that. And with that, I mean each weapon reloads differently, which of course adds tension and excitement to the gameplay. There are also a wide variety of weapons and also game modes that you can choose from. And with a wide variety of weapons, I mean a wide variety of weapons. I mean, you can choose between modern weapons or more weapons from the World War II era. You can see this when you enter the shooting range and test all the weapons that there are available right there in the shooting range. There are different kinds of maps and the maps are designed beautifully with care and with detail. You can also download custom maps designed by people. There is a modding community and it runs really good on your PC. The FPS is really smooth. The gameplay is also very smooth. All in all, if you just love a sort of Call of Duty on VR style game, you can try that out. Still blows my mind how amazing it is. This game is not for the faint hearted because Phasmophobia will leave you absolutely spooked. So this is a horror title, be warned, in VR. So what you will do in Phasmophobia, you will hunt a ghost. You will work with players and with friends as a team using modern and classic tools you will investigate haunted locations. And of course, playing this with friends can be quite hilarious. A friend suddenly screams their lungs out when they encounter something spooky. So the ghosts in Phasmophobia are not passive. So be warned, they will actually stalk and hunt you back. Each location, each experience is also unique because the details of the haunting is quite randomized. This game is a must try. It can be hilarious, it can be terrifying, it can be both. This game is worth it. Boy, last game that I have on this list is a game that has received a lot of amazing feedback because that is what this game is. And probably you have already heard about it, but I'm going to put it here anyway because it just deserves it. And the game is called Half-Life Alex. It is one of the highest rated among the whole VR community at, as of this moment. And it is designed by Valve. It is a triple A title with amazing visuals and graphics. It is so optimized. The gameplay is so smooth. The attention to detail is just mesmerizing. The story just also adds so much to the game. So it has the whole package if you're looking for that. The game offers a 15 hour long campaign that is set in a post-war environment that is just lurking with all kinds of enemies. You will get through puzzles, you will battle the baddies, and you will banter with your sidekick Russell. You also get gloves that will pull objects towards you, which in essence replaces the gravity gun. You can also find new weapons and upgrade your weapons as you progress through the story. If you haven't played this masterpiece, I don't know man, you, you, you just cannot skip this game, you, you must play it. I am forcing you to play this game, yes, that's how enthusiastic I am about it. Do not wait, get the game and play the game. It is, this is a true next generation VR experience if that's what you're after. And do you want to play some free games on the Quest first? Click on this video right here and get started immediately.